Hey everybody, I wanted to come back to GOT7. You know, interestingly enough, this is actually Kristen's idea um, to come back and visit GOT7 because obviously, if you know, Bam Bam's definitely going through something of a bit of a hard time and suggested that maybe we uh, go and show um, Bam Bam some love. And I loved the idea, so um, I figured let's do it. And so I found this song. Uh, called Not By The Moon. I, I had had one GOT7 song on here once before, and you know, funny enough, I guess it just left my brain. But we're we're doing this, and of course, before we start, just want to say, Bam Bam, we love and support you. Hope that you can get the help, the help that you need. Anyway, let's start the song, shall we? Surprise. Um, 
first and foremost, I want to go back to a couple of the runs that we had because those runs were fantabulous and I really, really like them and I want to talk about them. So give me one second while I look for them. <laughs> All right, here we are. This run is so cool. <laughs> Okay, so what I think is so cool about this. Yeah, um, he's starting kind of already having used some breath. And so when you think about the fact. <laughs> So he's already sung Elsewhere Not By The Moon, and by the time he's already gotten to the moon part, he's probably, you know, obviously he's already put out some breath. And he didn't take a breath to take this run, either, and the other thing that I find actually fairly fascinating <laughs> is the way that he kind of does the slow ascension. I feel like that a lot of times when you hear people do runs, it's usually up, and then down, or like down, then up, you know, but it's, this one is kind of more like a staircase, right? And I think that that's actually a fairly, fairly unique take. And by now, if you've seen many of my videos, or any of my videos at this point, you know that I go crazy for the darker themes. Um, especially with, uh, well, just about anything in K-pop, honestly. But mainly because, like, as much as I talk about how much I love the cutesy music, like how that's kind of become the, the <laughs> insider knowledge, and, uh, like, that's the guilty pleasure stuff. But in reality, I will almost always try and come back to darker themes like this. Um, that's actually probably why I like Dreamcatcher so much, but we'll, uh, we'll subscribe to that for now. But, like, this whole thing has a very unique and uh, kind of a little bit more on the goth side of the feel, but it's it's a little bit more dressy, so it's almost, <laughs> almost kind of like Victorian goth in some senses. But I think the, the chorus itself is very, very much tinged with that kind of darker feel to it. And honestly, again, I'm totally here for it. <laughs> One thing that I wanted to point out, too. I love the subtlety of their choreography as well. It's just one of those scenes where I feel like that the whole video itself, the choreography within it, is just kind of more for like detailed feeling in. Not like that they're like, oh, we have some dead air we need to fill in. It's just more like garnishment <laughs> rather than a focus. And I like that. It's kind of a, a unique way to handle choreography. So, yeah. No, actually, you know what? We, we might need to just start visiting GOT7 some more. If that's how it's even pronounced. <laughs> but, no. I, this was really, really cool. I really like this. We might need to focus on more GOT7 stuff as well. But in any case, um, let me know what you all think about this. And honestly, if you have any other, other recommendations, please let, let me know. <laughs> and of course, um, if you can, make sure you can send some love and support to Bam Bam as he is struggling right now. Um, I think every single word of positivity is crucial. So... 
Thank you all so much. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.